then we get down to the things that really, really matter, which is strategy number seven, get a life outside of the business. It's not just about holidays, right? Vacations. No, that's right. It's about day to day and week to week. So if you're working six and a half days a week, we've got to look at that. And maybe we need to talk about that one-on-one -on -one so that there's no more six and a half days a week. I get that you love your business. You know, maybe you didn't before we started working together, didn't love it as much as you do now. Maybe you were doing it because you didn't know what else to do. But I want you to be loving your business, like loving it. And so strategy number seven is get a life outside of the business. Love what you do and do what you love. So if you don't love your business, that's what we've got to focus on. Because this is the vehicle, right? That's this high-performance vehicle I'm always talking about. Keeping it finely tuned. Well, if you don't love the vehicle, get another vehicle. But if it's your business, it's your livelihood, it's your bread and butter, it's what pays your electricity and keeps your mortgage payments going and puts food on the table, well then, fall in love with it we can sell it, and then you can start a business that you really love. Right? And that doesn't have to be. Once you fall in love with it, then you may not want to sell it. You may just want to bring in you know, new services, new products, work with a new market, for example. If I ever were to fall out of love with working with the construction industry, do you think I'd keep slugging away, you know, working with people in the construction industry if I didn't like it, if I didn't love it? No, yeah, I'd just change my market. Or maybe if I felt like, you know, standing up here and training on these seven strategies didn't turn my crank anymore, do you think I'd keep doing it? I'd do something different. You know, maybe I'd just go back to one-on-one -on -one coaching. I love one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I love these seven strategies. I love seeing where you guys have come over the last nine months. But I'm telling you, if I didn't love it, I'd look at what it was about it that I didn't love. The traveling, for example. I love traveling. But if I didn't love the traveling, if that were the key component that I didn't love, I'd change that. I'd say, no, everybody's coming to me. And then just be the way it is. Otherwise, I'd do something different. Well, I have that freedom in my business. But so do you and you. I know, I've seen a lot of excitement come up in you guys. And with this, that's great. That's getting back, falling back in love with what you were in love with when you first started the business. So that's what strategy number seven is all about. Love what you do and do what you love. And when we're in a business that we're so in love with, it's hard to turn it off. It's hard to, you know, just say, look, I don't want to think about it anymore. I'm working eight five. Saturdays and Sundays off, all my evenings off, that's it? Well, first of all, it's a business. And a business is a part of you. So it's really hard to turn it off of you. You're constantly thinking about it, especially when you've got a new product or a new service and a new market. You've got all these ideas churning all the time. It isn't easy to turn that off. So what I recommend you do is you identify the sorts of things you can do that will Occupy your mind and your body so that you can't be fully consumed with the business. So for example, just going home and spending the evening there, not really consciously doing anything, means that the business is going to come creeping into your mind constantly, all evening long. Get rid of the GDTV. However, there are purposes. TVs that can serve you. Find a really good movie that you want to watch. Or maybe there's something that's, that comes on, I don't know, Wednesday nights. It's a sports game that you really like to watch. Or, you know, Saturday night hockey. You really like to watch that. Put it in your agenda. And go into the TV room one minute before start time, turn it on, get on that channel, watch it. Like you're watching TV on purpose. Like you're watching a movie on purpose. Why this movie instead of any other movie? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, whatever. No, that won't work. Because you're watching that movie, but it's not something that really excites you, so your mind is on the business. So now you're working again. 
So get something that really excites you, something you really want to watch. So what are some other things that you can do during the evening? So it's a conscious effort. And I know, because I have a business that I'm in love with. And it's there all the time. It's in every cell of my being. But there are times when you've just got to shut it off. So for example, go skiing. You know, just even it just, you know, even when I'm with the grandbabies. If we're doing something, you know, playing outside in the snow, or just doing all the little things that a little girl likes to do. You're just not thinking about the business. Because your mind is full. So this is the key thing. Fill your mind with something that's more important at that moment than the business. And then when the business tries to come in, you can comfortably say, not now. But if you're trying to do this, and you've got unfinished business, or you're taking calls at home, or whatever, the phone rings, well, because of the system that you've got <coughs> set up, that, that people have your business time, you have your time, people through the business have your time in the evening, then when you're trying to put the babies to bed, or bathe them and put them to bed, all that stuff, then you're split. And you're doing neither one of them well. Multitasking. I haven't seen it in a while, but I haven't actually been uh, looking for resumes either. But a lot of people used to put this on. I'm a great multitasker. Great. That means you do nothing really well. <laughs> but there was a time in the 80s and the 90s when it was all multitasking, multitasking, multitasking. So that's what you're trying to do when you don't turn your business off. And you can't just turn it off, so you've got to fill that space. Okay, so just fill that space with activities. 